Hi guys, Lens of Old 101 here once again, bringing you another article review. This time it's about Crisis on Infinite Earths, the Arrowverse, Flash, Supergirl, Batgirl, which is part of it as well now, yeah. And Legends of Tomorrow, which I don't really watch anymore. Legends of Tomorrow is crap. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Remember to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, main places. You're gonna find your boy, three main places. <laughs> And remember to subscribe to the channel, become a legacy, thumbs that video up, press that like button, it's always yo, it's free. And remember to share this video with everyone around the globe. And press the notification bell as well, the next video drops, you're gonna know about it first hand, yo. So let's get into this. Oh, for that, down below, I have a Patreon, PayPal, so if you wanna donate, you know what I'm saying, to your boy, a bit further, hey, feel free to do so. So let's get into this. So apparently Tom Ellis, who plays Lucifer, and he has been shown on set of Crisis on Infinite Earths. So, who on Crisis on Infinite Earths? That's interesting, because his character is technically part of DC. So, it's for Morningstar. Devil himself. So, and I love that show as well. This one, that was a great TV show as well. As a Christian, people are saying, oh, you shouldn't watch that show, Blasphemous, I know. It's a great show, though. That's what I'm at. It's a great show. Um, so, so us Christians can watch TV, too, and movies, too. So, let's get into this report now. Comicbook.com, by the way. So, basically, the title, Tom Ellis reportedly spotted as Lucifer on Crisis on Infinite Earth set by Jamie Girac. The article was on October 12th, literally yesterday. So let's read this. And there you go. News of the epic Crisis of Infinite Earths crossover from DC, the CW, and the Warner Bros. TV continues to pour in and promises to be packed with stars ranging from the Arrowverse all the way back to the classic Batman TV series from the 1960s. That's why I call it the Arrowverse because Arrow's when it started off. So Arrow's basically the Iron Man of this, you know, of this universe. Um, the latest name to pop up in the rumor mill is Tom Ellis, who plays Lucifer Morningstar on the hit TV show, Lucifer, which spent its first few seasons on Fox before moving on to Netflix. Yeah, because Fox, you know, stopped it on Fox and then Netflix pump picked it up. Um, which is great news for the show. I, I liked it, a lot of people liked it as well. <laughs> okay, so let's keep reading. According to Akana Dagraphs, Ellis was recently spoiled on the set. Uh, uh, uh. So he puts, there was a scene with at least four actors tonight at the set. David Ramsey, Catherine McNamara and Matt Ryan, which is um, Constantine. So Matt Ryan, Constantine. No surprises there. They did a scene with Tom Ellis, dressed like Moose for Morningstar. Yes, you read that correct. Hashtag, Crisis on Infinite Earths. So. With Matt Ryan there, it's kind of interesting. Constantine, the devil, supernatural. So Constantine being there is that kind of tying to Lucifer being there. Which makes sense. Uh, so let's keep reading. Uh, there was a scene with at least four actors. Tonight. Okay, now hold it that bit. So let's read this. It's right here. Uh, so let's keep reading on. In the comics, Crash the Infinite Earth centered on a battle between the combined superheroes and even some villains. The DC multiverse and an immortal cosmic threat known as Anti Monitor. So he was like this massive concept threat. If you read the comics, you any comic from DC, you know what Anti Monitor is. Uh, like the Monitor, the Anti Monitor will be played by. The Monica Garrett in the Arrowverse. Wait, where is it? The Monica Garrett. La Garrett. There you go. This guy. Hang on. Great actor, by the way. Good actor. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's keep reading. What is that sound? Thanks, playing. What's playing? Star Wars, get the heck out of it. It's trash, man. That's the next thing I'm going to talk about. But I missed the video on Crash Safe and Earth, so we're going to continue. Okay, so as the antimony destroys realities, he replaces them positive matter with energy with antimatter, growing his own power and sphere of influence. He was eventually stopped by the sacrifices of several heroes including the Flash and Supergirl, as well as the emerging of multiple universes to save reality by becoming a single unified timeline. 
fans have long wondered whether the events of Crisis on Infinite Earths might bring Supergirl and even Black Lightning to Earth 1, where the rest of the series takes place. The crossover will also feature guest appearances by Tom Winning as Clark Kent. Oh, yeah. Somebody save me. Don't care how you do it. Just say. Shout out to, you know, say Smallville. Uh, Erica Durance as Lois Lane from Smallville. John Wesley Ship as the Flash of the Earth 90. Yeah, he's the original Flash. Uh, Jonathan Screech as Jonah Hex. And Karen Conroy as Bruce Wayne and Ashley Scott as the Huntress. Karen Conroy, yo! Who knows what Karen Conroy is? The original Batman voice. The 90s. Um, so it says Crisis Infinite Earths kicks off on Sunday, December 8th on Supergirl. Runs through a Monday episode of Batwoman and Bat Tuesday's episode of The Flash. So December 8th when it kicks off. Okay. They run through the other shows. That'll be the mid-season cliffhanger as the show goes on highs for the holidays and returns on January 14th to finish at the event with the mid-season premiere of Arrow, a special episode of DC's Legend of Tomorrow, which launches as a mid-season series this year and so on. Have an episode on the air before Crisis. Okay. They need to scrap Legend of Tomorrow. That, that show is garbage. Uh, that show needs to go. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, so that's the little, you know what I'm saying? Rundown of Tom Ellis on the set of Crisis. So that looks interesting. <laughs> it's the Morning Star. Could be on the set of Infinite Earths. So that should be interesting there. I'm liking where this 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 um saga is going. I'm liking where this is going. So a great cast coming up right now, and it's looking lit. This is looking lit. This is what you call a crossover, yeah. This is looking nice right now. Hey. Hey, I'm loving this crossover. I'm loving this show. I show you Arrow going. This this could be a this could be, could be a great send-off for the Arrowverse. You know, it's gonna be a great send-off. So tell me guys think in the comment section down below. What do you know you guys are thinking? What do you think about Crash Infinite Earths? How it started off and how it got to this point? Um, what do you think Tom Ellis will be doing in this crossover? And because I think it's going to verge, because all the multiverse and stuff like that, it's going to verge on this. There'll be supernatural elements to this, and I'm going to enjoy every second of it, especially with this guy, the Tom Ellis man, great actor, by the way, great actor. So I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to be anticipating what's going to happen because I've got a feeling it's going to be great. We've got think Kingdom Come universe coming out here. We've got Smallville universe. Flipping heck. We've got the this for Morning Star universe coming in here. Let's go. So, number two, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, main play, uh, main three places you're gonna find your boy. Legend of one on one. Thumbs this video. Smash that like button as people always say on YouTube. Hit that like button for your boy to get that support going. Subscribe to the channel, become a legacy. We're to 1,000 subscribers, it's still ongoing. And number two, share this video with everyone you know, everyone you don't, share across the globe, press the notification bell, the next video drops, you gotta know about it. And as usual, as I said before, as always, comments, comment section down below. Interaction, man, I love it, I love it. My fans, love it. And people just in general, like the topics I talk about, so. Also, as I said before, PayPal, Patreon down below, I thought that, and also, um, I'm trying to get some merch up, trying to make some merch up right now. I have to show a few other videos of mine. I've got a Legend of Ball 101 shirt, it's a green shirt. I'm just trying to look at different designs. And if you guys are interested, put in the comment section down below if you want me to create some merch for the channel and give you guys some as well. So, yeah, because I've got some lots of subscribers out here and all my subscribers, I love them. So, hit me up. And as always, stay safe out there on these streets, stay all night. I'm out. Legible 101 signing out. Peace.